Okay, here's the picture for hereditary angioedema. Now we've got Angie here. Uh, Angie, Angie Dickinson is a policewoman. So we got Angie here with her beautiful yellow flowing hair. So we'll put that in there. She's got her blonde hair. And Angie has got some problems. She uh, has the swelling in her neck that has trouble swallowing and coughing because the 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 swelling of the the lungs and you've got digestion problems and next thing is she's got these swelling of her hands and feet you don't see the feet but that's what it is so you've got the C1 increase and it's because there's a deficiency in the C1 inhibitor and so that causes the hereditary uh, pathogenesis of uh, of what goes wrong with these individuals it is an autosomal dominant gene so it you'll s normally see it in every generation and it can be managed but at the same time most people if they have complications with, with these it causes death it has to do with the lungs and the breathing and so those are things to keep in mind when you're talking about treatments but this is what heter hereditary angioedema can cause it's autosomal dominant it's a deficiency in the C1 inhibitor gene so you're going to get a increase in C1 which is part of the coagulation cascade so you get a lot too much coagulation and it causes all these symptoms.